hero of your own movie, if your life was a movie and it started now, what would the hero of your life's movie do right now? Hi guys, we got Jessenia. Thank you very much, it's good to see you. All right guys, our first delivery of the day, it's like six bucks for 1.4 miles. Very easy order, there's a drink in there, but it's a bottle of water. Let's go. All right, we're on our way for this first order. It's a small seven, order. Then turn left. And then we have a $7, 1.9 mile California Chicken Cafe immediately following. It's on a highland behind us about a half a mile. Thank you. That's the customer telling me the entrance is on Wilcox. So let's go get him, it's right here. It's dangerous to drive too fast here, guys. It feels like there's nothing going on. Everybody's closed, everybody's boarded up. Entrance on Wilcox. Okay, so that's down here. On the wrong side of the street like an amateur, but we're here. You're not Jacenia, are you? Huh? You're not Jacenia, I waited for food, right? Okay, she's pointing at me, I got it. How you doing? Thank you so much. Hey, my pleasure. Have Enjoy. Thank you too. Thank you. We might be a couple of minutes late for this order, but it's okay. It's DoorDash. They're never ahead of schedule. So you're the best man. Thank you. Good man or good way? Yeah. It is you? Okay, cool. Steven. Yes, sir. That's, that's the next part of the code. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank Enjoy. You. Thank you. I got a $14 three mile California Chicken Cafe double. Should be pretty good. Two for DoorDash Ashley and Gina. Okay. okay and I got one for Uber, Patricio. We actually have a triple now, three orders at once. All of them from California Chicken Cafe, that's just the way it worked out. We're gonna try to get this shit done in 20 minutes and have a very big first hour. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi, Patricio. Hey, thank you very much. Good to see you, buddy. Oh, listen, I got three orders in here from the same place. <laughs> they all look very similar, but I'm pretty good at giving you the right thing. There. Yeah, it's definitely a great little vehicle for the pandemic. Yeah, I hear it. All right, Patricia, you're right on top, Patricio. Thank you very much. Take care. Enjoy. Order number two, we are only 0.6 miles away. Okay, this last order is up on Hollywood Boulevard. 6250, I recognize the address. Head north on North Las Palmas Avenue toward Willoughby Avenue. Pretty far, 1.7 miles, let's go. The address is for the W and the directions are for me to leave it at the concierge, so that's good. A Ashley 8D, am I in the right spot or is it the further one? Gosh damn it. I know this has got two entrances here, it's okay. Hi guys, for Ashley in 8D, I leave it here. Beautiful, thank you. See you guys next time. Man, I got held up on that last order. So we've done five orders in an hour and three minutes. Very good, only nine miles. Good start for just a short shift. We're only working lunch. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Pretty good. How's the best delivery man in the business? You're doing good, apparently. Aha, uh -huh, you're very funny. How's your health, man? How's everything feeling? Oh, it's going good. I just uh, trying to find a way to get my feet off my back. Oh, yeah, man. I hear you. Hang on a second. I'm getting... I did it slow, man. Yeah, ten and a half dollar, 2.2 mile fat burger run. No milkshake. I really love fat burger, but maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe they'll be just ready. Christopher V. Oh. How you doing? I got Christopher V. Christopher V. 
What's your name on the customer? Uh, Christopher V for Uber. Christopher. I would enjoy some I never thought I would enjoy seeing canned sodas as much as I do, man. I'm so happy. I thought for sure it was a loose soda. You guys telling me the sidewalk is closed even? Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Yeah. This whole thing is fucking closed off. I don't know how I'm gonna get here. I guess I gotta go around. I got killed by that street being shut down. I got stuck on the fucking steepest hill, the La Cienega Hill. Hey, there's the Postmates robot. Hey, it's a pink one. I haven't seen a pink one yet. But now we're on Sunset and we're trying to go south on the street that was blocked off. Has made the right turn on North Olive Drive. This is a virtually impossible place to find. And there's construction everywhere around here. It's very terrible. All right. Hey there, how you doing? Good. I'll leave this right here for you, Christopher. Okay, thank you. Enjoy. Sorter is so bad that in order to escape the street, I have to go up the same fucking hill twice. Bullshit. A waste of battery. All right, we got it to him. Thank you. Okay, we took this order from Chibo, our least favorite, because it's just basically the slowest place. But it's only 1.2 miles for seven bucks. Disclaimer being, after I took the order, I realized it is up this gigantic fucking hill. So what can you do? We have enough battery for the shift, though. This is for Dave M. Oh, shit. Nobody home? I hate to ring the bell, but it was sitting there. I got Dave M. Here we go again with this. Dave M. Yeah, I might not even have the order now in this place. I'm try to slam down some Chipotle while they were making that order, but there's a little bit of a line in there. I'll never be able to pull it off. This sucks. We ate a bag of chips. She said five minutes. I'm sure we gave her 10. We're back at Chibo. Let's see if they got it. Got this order for Dave, this DoorDash order. Excuse me? I've been here, I was here before. You didn't have the order. I, I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Fucking assholes, man. Right, this is the insane hill that I was talking about. And if it was earlier in the day, I would probably ride up halfway and walk the rest of the way. But we don't really need to conserve battery now. We're going to be fine. Where are we going again? 1911. Leave at my door. Okay. Yeah, I never think that the camera can capture both the incline and the length of this hill. It's fucking crazy. We're at 1743. We're only going to 1911. Look how far it's going to take us. Look how long it's going to take us. Here it is. Is this all 1909? Is this 1911? Oh my god, that's the... Is this a corner of Curson Place, Curson Terrace, and Curson Avenue? Yeah. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Alright bro, I'm sorry. Doesn't Thanks matter. for coming to get it. Enjoy. Thanks so much. Bye puppy. Okay, so that guy was cool, and we got a 1.9 mile carving board order, which is really more like a one mile order just because um, we're like a mile away from there. Let's go get it. It's just a salad. How you doing? I have a Justin T for DoorDash. Justin. Okay. I was a little mad when she wasn't ready, but it was really only took a minute and she brought it out to me. That goes a long way. Hey, it's your DoorDash. I'm at the entrance to WeWorks on La Brea. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, thanks. This customer said usually people can get in here. I guess the door is actually just simply open, but I don't know, I'm gonna take advantage of them, let them come down and get it. Hey, Justin? Yes. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, sorry about that. You know, I actually didn't even check the door. I assumed it was locked. I would have brought it up to you. I'm sorry, too. <laughs> I don't even know how they usually get in here. I just I, I realized it was just open. Most of these are locked. You didn't, you didn't leave any directions, but we did it. We did it. Thanks, man. Thanks, bro. My pleasure. Thank you. 
dollar wise this shift was something of a bus we have this last order that's going to take us down Rossmore or Vine and it's also going to take us to about 3.30 when we don't want to work anymore. We have already worked for three hours and I don't really want to work that much more so let's see what's going on here. Are you watching me talk to myself James? I'm making a video. Uh, you know, James is my customer, you're not James. I got James D. I wasn't watching you talk to myself. It's okay, they say it's a sign of brilliance. That's what I hear, I've been quite smart <laughs> Thank you. Our last order of the shift is at the Camden. We've been here a bunch of times, I like it. They let me bring the scooter to the inside. One of the few places I feel like pretty comfortable not tying it up. And I also feel like we generally know the staff here. They don't usually look at us sideways, they usually know what's going on. So let's see what's happening. Uh-oh, nobody's home. Come on. Going We're done, I'm tired. I just wanted to work three hours. We worked three hours and 15 minutes. I think we did about 70 bucks, nothing really fancy. Okay guys, I appreciate you following me for another day. It feels like not much happened, but we got the job done. Right now, the goal for the week is just to work pretty much every single day. The easy days, I'm just gonna work a short lunch shift like this. On my stronger days, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna work breakfast and lunch. We're just gonna try to make seven or 800 bucks for the week. Okay guys, I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Videos about high-powered scooters. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will talk to you soon. One shift is box toy. Seven bucks, 2.6 miles. Ooh, what is this? Some sort of a crazy fucking, oh my God, some fucking original fucking Segway. Oh my God, are you guys not even open? Oh no, they're fucking closed. Oh shit. This is a DoorDash order too, this is bullshit. I wonder whose fucking scooter this is. That's the original, that's the Pioneer. I guess it's the X2, so it's not the original original. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is gonna be our first pickup. Easy Starbucks pickup, hopefully. You got an Alley R for Uber? Yeah. You mean Uber? What's up? Luber. I'm fucking. <laughs> sometimes, you, you? sometimes they send the text and I'm like, hey, Luber is here. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? That's why they made that movie. Um, all right, buddy. Hi. Oh. You good. You're Alley? Yes. All righty. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. you too. Even with the flub, the first order, this was 13, almost 14 minutes, 1.2 miles though, very short, very nice. We took the most humblest of orders, 1.3 miles for $5 from Dumpling Monster, and plus they're almost definitely not gonna be ready. We were like definitely a little bit early on the pickup, but that is okay. Just happy to be moving. It's a perfect order for me to grab an Uber order as well, since the drop off is only like a, a couple of points away from here. Park over here today. Hi guys, you got a Amy P for DoorDash? Beautiful, awesome, thank you. Uh, nice light bag, but very uh, light food item. Remember, I hate these bags, these bags just rip. But this is actually light, it's gotta be tofu or something. Looks like a pretty easy leave at the door for 8.42. Yes, right there. Hi guys. Hey, 
I got, I got David when you're ready. Okay, we got it. All about the bread going in the box. Single sandwich, not going too far. Hey there, it's your DoorDash. Um, I'm at the door, did you have a code for me or are you coming out to get it? All good, I'm right here. Good, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Enjoy. You too, bro. I was gonna take this order, but Uber is doing this new thing now when they're telling you when customers are like chronically saying shit is missing. It says this restaurant should verify that the order has the items there because the customer, I guess, has complained that they have enough here. Customers have reported wrong or missing items before. So that means I can reject this, this order. I don't wanna deal with a difficult customer. This Starbucks is not screwing orders up. It's customers who are stealing. Three small orders, 41 minutes, five and a half miles, not bad. Another shorty, $6 from Sunset Thai. I used to eat here a lot before the pandemic. Maybe I should order takeout from them one of these days. It's actually really good. It's Thai food that's almost like, it's almost like Chinese food to be honest with you. All right, Brian S. Hi guys. Oh my God, nobody's here. Hello, hello. Hello. Holy cow, what are you guys doing back there? I got Brian S. Thank you. Man, that was bullshit. You kept me standing there for a long time. I have to do all these DoorDash orders. I got fucking nailed on that first order, that box toy order. I get fucking dinged because they were not open and it's not my fault. Brian S. All right, here we Best go. Sunset Boulevard. Hey, Brian. Hi, right, bro. Enjoy. Thanks Thank you. Four orders. 54 minutes, and now we have another shorty, Starbucks. I'm sorry, uh, Chipotle. Pretty good, because the Chipotle is empty and they're working on orders, so that means they're definitely working on my order or have it ready. I'm surprised this place isn't busy, man. The restaurants have been super busy lately. They close sit-down dining. Devin. Hey, it's your DoorDash. I'm here at the entrance. Thank you. Up. How you doing? Enjoy. Thank you. Am I keeping track right? Is that five deliveries in an hour and four minutes? I know they've all been pretty small. Have you given a name yet? I haven't. Okay. Are you a driver? I'm not. I mean, I'm not Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. Hi, Blanca. I got Richard A for DoorDash. Richard A. God, it's a pretty big order for uh, California. Man, this shit's making me hungry. I, was, I should order lunch from here. I haven't had the California chicken experience for a while. Looks like an easy house drop off. 737, where are you? 743. Probably right here. Oh, this place looks super familiar anyhow. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy. Hey there. I got Jessica C for DoorDash. Feels like I'm early. <laughs> Blanca, are you finding yourself with any extra salad? Because that last customer, the one I just came for, said the order was missing like uh, two salads or something. God, it's a pretty big order for uh, California. I hardly ever check it, so I don't really know if he's even right. Uh, which, what was the guessing? 
I don't fucking remember, Richard, some fucking regular. Um, it's no big deal. I mean, he'll probably, I told him to go through DoorDash or contact the restaurant. Yeah, eventually what ends up happening, they end up constructing us yeah. from there. Yeah, it's no big deal. Head southwest on Sunset Boulevard toward North Harper Avenue, then turn left onto North Harper. Oh my God, dude. Hi, Jessica. Awesome. Enjoy, thank you. We're working for an hour and 56 minutes and we've made pretty much exactly 50 bucks. All right, one more hour to go. So now we've been working for two hours and 10 minutes and I have three apps on and there's nothing happening. It's super dead free apps like I do you know the definition of slow means that you're just taking orders that you normally wouldn't take this is one of them 1.2 miles six dollar McDonald's order they're not looking they're looking a little busy in there let's see no, it looks like I might have to tie up how you doing yep uh, butter water. Can I see the manager? I, I have a 066, I guess it's ready. I told her repeatedly, non-carbonated drink, no soda. I got it, I got it. And she keeps saying Coke diet everything. Does she not understand? I got it. I know you do. Now explain to her what you did so she doesn't have that issue. 5066. You got it, thank you very much. You. We'll see you all next time, McDonald's. Hey, is this your McDonald's? Yeah. Alrighty, Alice, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Hi there. Hello. I have Danya. Danya for Uber. Danya, you can me see how much Very much. Yes, yeah, see you next time. Pretty easy. Here's the address. Unit number three has got to be close. Wow, and out of nowhere, I got a hundred dollar. It pays nine fifty, which means it could pay more. But I got a hundred dollar John and Vinny's, and they're telling me it's ready, and I'm already like right next to it. So let's fucking go. Let's be a twenty dollar payout. A while since we've been here. Usually when they ping you here, that means they're ready. I'm actually gonna pull all the stuff out of my box because I already know this has got a couple of drinks with it. Let's get ready for it. Pretty good, nice order. How you doing? I have Montero for DoorDash. Beautiful, thank you. Thank you. All right, I knew he was gonna have these drinks. This is gonna be a good payout. Hopefully this customer is coming out. I don't think I have much else in directions. Are you Montero? Yep. Right there, buddy. Thank you very much, enjoy. Thank you. Oh yeah, as predicted, $16 payout, very nice. We needed that today. All right, so now we've been out here for two hours, 48 minutes, maybe one more order. Friends, we worked three hours and 20 minutes. It's like super slow, it's a quarter to three. We're not getting any more orders, so we're gonna shut it down. <laughs>